back here. Hello, everyone. I am Kudafo, and we're back at this game. Yep, let's go. Let's see if I still remember how to play. So we've been, as far as I'm aware, Reimo, Marisa, and Sakuya. We have not yet been Alice or anyone else. So, let's go. Hope you all enjoy. What a waste of time. Shouldn't humans be the ones worrying about yokai incidents like this? Oh, it's a yokai. What's up? Funny for me to be saying this, but you two are too lazy these days. Why don't you do something about this case? Hmm? What do you mean case? What are you talking about? Isn't it obvious? Well, it's pretty hot lately, but it's summer, so that's normal. I'm not talking about the heat. I mean the strange mist and all these festivals. Mists? Festivals? Yeah, we've had a lot of both lately, but it is hot and it is summer. Well, you've got guts, and if you won't take care of it, I'll take care of you. Will I remember how to play? Let's find out. So that's how you do that. That's how you dodge. Oh, that's fun. Oh, fun. First sign, Stardust Reverie. How do I do it? Oh, there we go. That didn't work. Alright, see you in a moment. I don't remember how to play. There we go. We're not done yet. Second sign, Asteroid Belt. We done? Okay. Phew. So? Don't you know anything about this mist? If I did, I'd have taken care of it already. I suppose. Looks like I have no choice. I should go visit that other person that might know something. Her? I think she'd take care of it too, if she knew anything. Or maybe she's the one behind all of this. Reimu. 
This is gonna take a moment to get used to. But Emu ought to know something. She's a shrine maiden, so it's her job to at least try to manage Yokai. Hmm. What could you want at this hour? If it's food, I've already had dinner. What do you think I'm a beggar? People live in the forest and night sneak into the shrine at night usually are. Enough of that. Emu. About this strange mist that's all over Gensokyo. Hmm? The mist? I've been wondering why it appeared. The mist? Is there something dangerous about it? Well, I was wondering why you've you why you're usually so concerned whenever. Well, I was wondering why you're you you're so un, you're usually so concerned whenever something happens, but you're not doing anything this time, because nothing bad has been happening. Well, it's a pain that there are, that there are so many feasts. Suspicious, and I don't see you acting this suspiciously very often. When do you usually? First sign, continuous fantasy orc. Second sign, Yin Yang scattering. Can I do it? Are we good? Yep. So, so, do you really have no information at all? Yes, and I sense no danger in this. Um, I don't really do much yokai hunting, so I have no idea what the source of this mist is. Yokai hunting? Well, that's because you're not human. Hmm, where does this mist come from? Even I have no idea. I wonder why. Hmm, not much left if you take away your intuition, eh? Well, really, your sixth sense will dull if you goof off and never use it. Moment of infinity. Well, so there are, sir, there is some trouble. And you came to see me? There's not much left to investigate. I don't expect you to know much of interest, though. I can't really worry about that right now. All the feasts lately have left the mistress quite stressed. I wonder if the mistress is doing something bad. But I don't think so, really. Surely. Right. I'm sure she probably isn't. I really don't want to run into her, so... Well, there is somebody with extensive knowledge here. Really? Then I should visit her. But I won't let you pass, of course. Then, what was the point of mentioning it? Well... If I don't take a little break, my stress levels will get out of control as well. How can a maid say that? Though I don't believe this is going to be ter terribly restful. Here we go.
Curse sign. Serial killer doll. Move, please. Ow. Second sign, checkmate! Oh cool, I can knock you out of it. Gotcha. Jugglery, close up cutthroat. good so why don't you take me to this person with extensive knowledge now i have no choice if this person knows something about this incident why isn't she doing anything she's always been like that she never makes a move unless it's something truly serious an armchair detective how clever actually she floats the source of the mist enveloping in Tokyo. yes i heard you might know she's who's doing all this I haven't thought much about it. The great unmoving library, patchily knowledge. But isn't it obvious? Can you tell me? It's not really ghostly mist, and it doesn't really have a source per se. What do you mean? To put it another way, don't you think the mist-like thing itself is the source? I don't really understand, so your question is too vague to answer. What I've said is all there is to it. I don't understand why does why does everyone in Gentokyo insist on speaking in riddles? Well, a direct battle is straightforward, isn't it? Quite a reply, huh? Why don't I teach you how to be more talkative? First sign, St. Elmo's Explosion!
Punch! <laughs> Almost got ya. Do this! Oh, fun! I healed. I didn't even know I could do that. Second sign: forty day deluge. Can you stop that? Metal Earth Sign, Jin Gust. Did I do it? So, what should I do about this mist? It's not a mist, and it doesn't appear to be dangerous. Why leave it alone? Why not leave it alone? Is that all? I can't just give up after coming so far. I suppose, in that case, why don't you try having a nice, straightforward discussion with it? That sounds difficult. Oh, hi, Yomu. So you want to be able to speak with a ghost? Sure. What doesn't have an op what what doesn't have a body but has a mind? The answer is a ghost, I guess. A ghost, you say. Half ghost gardener. Yomu Konpaku. Well, how to communicate with it depends on what it was in life and what kind of life it lived. So what kind of ghost do you want to talk to? Yes. Well, it's a ghost so big it could envelop all of Gensokyo. Huh? Are you trying to make fun of ghosts? I'm completely serious. What don't you understand? It would have to be that big in life to be that big as a ghost. Wouldn't that, make the, if the, wouldn't that make it the ghost of a city or a country? Maybe. So, have any big countries died recently? Come on, I wasn't being serious. You couldn't talk to something like that. It would be a god, not a ghost. Why don't you just show me how to see how what a ghost wants? Okay, but isn't the feast about to start somewhere? If you teach me before then, I could use it as a party trick. Boink! Purpose is to blow up. Oh, 
first time. Double pain. Right. Can you cut that out? Alice is tricky. Anyways, kick or not. Ugh, just hit the dang target. Second sign, slash of clouded inner eye. Here we go. Is this close enough? Yeah, sure. Third sign, lightning slash of Hell's, Ga Hell's Gale. Ultimate truth. Saigyoji, spring slash. Spring wind slash. Honestly, I don't have much else. There. It's easy to tell ghosts apart. A minus 14.7 degrees Celsius ghost is left over from the regret of having died while borrowing money. So what about a really big ghost? Yes, well, I'm starting to think that maybe isn't actually this isn't actually a ghost after all. Of course not. A ghost big enough to surround all of Gensokyo would have to be the ghost of Gensokyo. I guess I'll just have to wait at the meeting place for the feast. Oh hi again, you- Oh hi again, Raymo. 
So what happened with that mist you're worried about? It appears to be not mist. I don't really understand it. So you decided to come back here? The real battle begins now. What's with the serious face at the feast? This is going to be another exciting feast, right? It makes you look like a bad guy if you're always showing up without being invited. The people who didn't invite me are the bad ones. Border of Illusion, you cut a Yakumo. Is this revenge? Revenge? I haven't done anything wrong. Yet. Yet. Well, aside from this mist-like stuff being everywhere, nothing has really happened yet. Mist-like stuff? Yes, this mist-like thing enveloping Genzokyo. Oh, I don't have anything to do with that. That's her doing, isn't it? Her? But there's no one there. There's a troubled child, but she has no ill intentions. Though, she is just a troubled child. Okay, so where is she? Oh, can't you see her? She's right in front of you. Well, there is a troubled soul in front of me. No, not me. Her. Boink. <laughs> Alex, why can't you just attack normally? First sign, quadruple barrier. Can I use it? Ugh! Alice, you suck! There! Second sign, Manji Parasol of Yakumo!
Third time. Ranyakumo. All right. What was that? Outer force, infinite speed, flying object. Phantasm, first class perpetual motion. What's with that funny look on your face? It was there from the start, jeez. Can't you see this has nothing to do with me? Very well, then what's this mist-like thing? Yes. What do you think happens if you spread a drop of blood on a lake? The fish will gather around it? Right, but wrong. There are no fish in this lake. Well, let's restore the drop of blood to its original form. Suika! What? What are you doing? You, Cuddy! The feast was just about to start! What? What is this? Oh, hi! I've been watching you for a while now. It was a lot of fun. Gather dreams, visions, and pandemonium. Suika Ibuki. Your investigation was a little misdirected. You kept avoiding the really strong yokai. Where were you watching from, you little warrior? Don't you get it yet? I'm a really big ghost. Big enough to surround Gensokyo. Hmm. Actually, hasn't the mist disappeared? There was no mist to begin with. It just... I just spread out thinly to look around. It feels really nice. You mean you could do that? That's impressive. I'm a little different from people like you. Oh, really? You don't look like it. In any case, what are you after? Oh, I already got it a long time ago. What's that? I suppose it couldn't have been that important then. You've all been feasting up a storm, haven't you? Well, I did want to get a lot more people together. Nobody was able to resist my attractive force. Well, except maybe you, Cuddy. She showed up on her own. Oh, why don't I try resisting you now then? Huh. <laughs> You've fallen into my trap just by being here. You've never real even noticed that you became part of my night of pandemonium on your own accord. Panda- How rude. Continuing- Continuing people at- Counting people as monsters. Well, maybe you're a ghost. After all, magic users like you must be greener than the grass trying to defy us, the proud race of Oni. Here we go. Can you stop that? First sign, throwing of Amawato's of Amano Iwato. Amano Iwato. I'm throwing of Amano Iwato. No. I might not win this one.
Can you please, like, there you go. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna win this. on easy mode? Second sign, Giant Oni of Earth's Axis. Third time, reverse exorcism, black hole. Hellfire, supermassive conflagration. Final life. Is this it? Nope. Vapor sign. Six leagues. Six leagues in the fog.
Pandemonium. I guess this is the best I can do with this. Akari Shrine, a shrine on the edge of Gensokyo. The rays of the summer sun became stronger and stronger, and the crying of cicadas became louder and louder. The Akari Shrine had the most prominent seasons in Gensokyo. Summers were hot, winters were cold. Cherries blossomed in the spring, and the food was delicious in the autumn. There was someone at the shrine who could feel the changing of the seasons better than nature itself. There were those who came to the shrine to meet her. It's hot, isn't it? I don't want to sweep the grounds in this heat. Weren't you going to sweep a while ago? I'm taking a short break. I can tell it's summer just by looking at you. It's too easy to tell. I told you, I'm taking a break. You're not hot. This is nothing un this is nothing. unlike you. I wouldn't even notice the difference if you didn't tell me it was hot. That would be a problem for cold-blooded animals. I'm not cold-blooded. Oh, right. What happened with the ghostly mist a while back? Oh, huh? That, um, blood on the lake. We were just like fishing, drawn by the smell of blood. There you go again, saying things I can't understand. Forget that. When's the next party? It's so hot. Everyone's just lazing around, right? If you let me do it, I could get everyone together. Hey, didn't I say you couldn't do that? Behave yourself for now. Jeez, it's so boring. If it's boring, why don't you keep why don't you sweep the grounds? Is there something in it for me? I'll give you anything you find. Eh, but there's nothing in this shrine, is there? Well, I'll finish in about five seconds anyway, so whatever. Five seconds? Yeah, you can't finish in five seconds. In the end, when Reimu wasn't looking, Suika collected all the trash in the grounds in three seconds. She did it in a flash, then spent most of her time rummaging through the garbage. She came back after 30 minutes to look on her face revealed that she didn't find anything. The demon said, that's not 5 seconds, but you're pretty fast, and only strength is a frightful thing. But Alice saw that strength as no more than an object of envy. For collectors, there's nothing more coveted than strength like that. Ending number 7, Alice, good ending. Congratulations. Ugh, it's only, it's already been 15 minutes, but I kind of want to do one more. Patchouli, we will go with... Yeah, why not? Looks like a rat has snuck in its way in again. I'm sure the rat poison was behind the shell. Bookshelves. Hold it. Humans don't need rat poison. So the black rat decides to expose itself. No need for the rat poison then. 
You've got it wrong. I'm not sneaking around today. Ordinary magician Marisaki Same. I came here to look up a little something. You snuck in. That's sneaking around. Not exactly. Stealthy investigation. I do not. I do wish for a cat after all. A cat? Rats that discreetly scamper the way in. I'd like a cat that could exterminate them for me. I think I remember playing Patchley a long time ago. Yep, yeah, there it is. Patchley is more of a ranged type. This feels better. First time, Stardust Reverie! How do I do it? Ah. Second side, asteroid belt. Enough of that. Now then, it's time for me to give this abnormality a splendid investigation. Rats should return to their nest. Yeah, I want to deal with this case. I'm already investigating. Dang, you planned on settling it yourself, huh? Rats have no power to resolve this abnormality. It's hopeless for the likes of you. Next one. What's wrong? Why'd you call me here all of a sudden? Tomorrow, I have a grand noble plan. I have grand noble plans, and we'll be heading out. Therefore, I thought I should ask you to remain here and watch over the mansion. My, how rare! Very well. I'll sit behind and watch the house. Perfect and elegant maid, Sakya Itayoi. About that, however, is there something else? The number of rats have been increasing. Could I ask you to keep an eye out for them? Rats? Is your special rat poison no good? Not very. They need a little more lethal poison. What I need is to say is to discipline you into a cat-like mindset. First time, serial killer doll. There you are. Boom. Second sign. Checkmate. Boom.
Your cat misses 24 points. You're rather harsh. By the way, 96 is the maximum score, not 100. Since 96 is the maximum number below 100, that can be divided in half or even thrice. It is convenient. Arguments won't occur, occur over it. Well, it doesn't change the fact that the evaluation process is strict. A difference of four is very large, but the broad-minded you isn't likely to understand. Okay. <laughs> now then, it's about time I departed. However, someone who has lived longer than Demi, there aren't many leads. It looks like you're heading out. Wait a second. I want to ask you something. Rainbow-colored puppeteer, Alice Margatroyd. Rat poison, rat poison. I'm sure you know. There's a strange injury coming in Tokyo. Our cats deceive. She lets in mice right after being told not to. Are you listening? Strange energy. You mean that mist-like thing? That isn't energy or anything at all. Just a fool that's nothing that's a fool that's nothing but huge. What's with your attitude? And I even politely ask, too. The ones who sneak in are hopeless to begin with. People with bad manners have no sense of politeness, much less anything else. It's a great power I've never felt before. I have no other choice but to investigate here. I was just about to head out. There are only two days left until the next banquet. There's no time to search through books. Boom! Oh, wrong one. Boom! First sign, Artful Chanter. Yeah, good luck. Eesh. Can you even get close? Second sign, Doll Crusader. Boom. Evil Light, Devil Ray Light Ray. No, stay over there. <laughs> Goodbye. Another trifle of time. You're telling me nothing after all. Hurry home, a silver rat poison will bar its this area soon. Fine, I'll head home. My rat poison is half-witted, so this place is full of troubled rats. An unusual face to see in the netherworld. Well, you look dead anyway. I have no business with you. I have business with your boss. Eh? With Lady Yuyuko? Half Ghost Gardener, Yomu Konpaku. Well, whatever it is, I can't let you pass. Why is that? Because I'm also standing guard. I can't simply allow to switch people to pass through. Ah, I see the job of guarding is... Given to incompetent people and only a position in name from in name from personal experience. Well, I can, br I can bring it down the easy way or we can do it the hard way. The undead are weak to gain fire. The same doesn't go for ghosts. If something is cold, does, this, does that make it more susceptible to being frozen? First sign, double pain.
You know, sometimes I wish you would just use the move that I wanted to use. Second side, stash of clouded inner eye. Done yet. Third time, lightning slash hell scale. Okay. What does this do? What what does it do? Is it supposed to do something? You're right. Rather, it appears that the human side is weaker to flames. Compared to ghosts, humans aren't so durable. At any rate, it's gotten rather late. Ah, by the way, I think Lily Lady Yuko is sleeping. Eh? She's a ghost that sleeps this early? Yes. This is going a lot faster than Alice. I wonder why. Jeez, what is it at this hour? I apologize for intruding while you're sleeping, but I'll have you come join me for a moment. Good night. Recently, someone has been manipulating the whole of Gensoku with an unknown power. A power of an extremely ancient native one. No matter how much I investigate, I couldn't find I could find nothing to match the power of my books, although that's expected of a magic book, but and and? What? And you are the only thing that seemed to have an inkling on this matter. How rude. I'm still very young. Fine, just hope we manage this abnormality. Leave it alone, nothing will happen anyway. So you know something after all. Ah, well. I'm not sure, but it's a very nostalgic power. It's like how the power is dividing now. You know what it is? You know what it is. I'm saying I don't. The undead are weak against fire. My, what should I do? Kick me, apparently. First sign, Butterfly of Ghostly Dream. I do kind of like Patchouli. She's fun. Second side, trailing Lily of Hakku Gokudo. Here we go. Here. Again. Again. <laughs> Third sign. Eternal ancient brink of death.
Cherry Blossom, Feast of Regrets. That's a strong attack. So, give up? I'm telling you, I don't know. You don't know when to give up. Ah, but my friend should know when it comes to things like this. Where is this friend? Who knows? Good night. <laughs> Thank you, you, Yuko. Very cool. I never found out where she was. You, Yuko's friend? You mean Yukari? She's always around when I don't want her to be. Well, it can't be helped. Looks like I have to investigate this abnormality alone. Abnormality? My, I didn't think there'd ever be a time when you'd want me around. Were you the one calling for me? Eh? Oh, you lived at the shrine. I was. Board of Illusion, you, you, you cut a Yakumo. I see. By the way, what is this recent abnormality? You should know, correct? I heard you were the oldest. Old? That's mean. Who said that? Answer the question. Of course I know. It's actually my troubled acquaintance. The one behind the banquets. Banquets? I see. And the objective behind this? Ask her yourself. Where is she? She's so full of questions. Is that your only business with me? It is. How boring. If you want to meet her so much, I'm not going to let you. A troubled, truly troubled person. Get fire out. First sign, Quadruple Berry! Well, that shouldn't be too difficult for a ranged person. What was the move again? Ah, that one works too. Second sign, Manji Parasol of Yakumo. Oh, I gained all my health back. Third sign, Ran Yakumo. I want to book hit you. Ah, whatever. Outer Force, infinite speed, flying object. Gotcha. Phantasm, 
First class perpetual motion machine. There we go. Much less time. You're going to allow me to see her, right? Can't be helped then. She's not a very interesting one, though. Not like I want her to be. Here, she's gathering. I finally found you. Huh? Time's up already. I thought I could have played lots and lots more. Gather, dream, vision, but yep, we already know. Play? Who are you, anyway? What exactly did you do? Hmm? I just made Gensoka a bit more lively. See? I just tweaked a little something without a single complaint from anyone. They all met at the banquet. I just watched that and enjoyed myself. Those horns. You're a... I'm not a deer. I see, so that's why. I now understand why I couldn't find anything in my books. A book with that information wouldn't be anywhere in my... Anywhere in Gensokyo. I'm not a goat, either. Your power is manipulation density, correct? Becoming a mist, causing the banquets. I wonder what Oni are weak against. Eh? I'm strong. I'm not weak against anything. I remember I'm... S I remember I'm certain they were weak against so boiled soybeans. But I don't have any on hand right now. Huh. You clearly have knowledge, but looks like you can't do anything with it. In the end, not a single being living in this ideal Gensokyo would know... Gensokyo knows what's happening, right? What's happening? You mean... Banquets? Taste the power of an Oni. The power to gather! Okay. Hey, Fireball! First time, throwing of Amanawa of Amanawa Taro. There we go. Second sign, giant only of Earth's access. Fireball! Probably not the best time to do that. Third sign, Reverse Exorcism, Black Hole!
Hellfire, Supermassive Conflagration. You can't get through this. Pandemonium now, right? Nope. Vapor assigned six leagues in the fog. Oh, fun, that can still hit her. Pandemonium! I still don't know what this thing does. Well, anyway. There we go. Yeah, that was significantly less time. Voila! A magic library. A dark room where no light has ever penetrated. One could not differentiate the seasons or the time of day in here. The life-giving sunlight and air of the outside world were nothing more than poisoned books that needed to be preserved. They were just like the mistress of the house. The feasts which had continued ever since the flower fumes began to lessen in number. Some thought the number of feasts occurred occurring what now is just right. It's definitely something like this. I wish I had more information, though. The books on match weren't produced very often. For whatever reason, all the books here were written by hand. Within the library, there were naturally more than a few books written by Patchley herself. The books on match were written like this, by hand, slowly, to completion. So, it's something like this? Now, I need some fried beans. I brought you some coffee. Ah, uh, put that over there. Uh, oh, you're writing a book on magic. That's happened a while, creating something new. Yes, I should try it on you when I'm done. That's a bit... <laughs> oh, I got some co new coffee beans today. That's what I brewed for you. New beans? Yes, they're quite expensive. Sure smells expensive. Isn't it wonderful? Alright, Sakya, do we have fried beans? Those aren't expensive. Well, they are common, but... Yes, I think we have them, but do they go well with coffee? Fried beans, I can't eat that many of them. There's a ridiculous amount of them. I don't think we could finish them, but should I call the lady? Wouldn't that just ex exacerbate the problem? Patchy was thinking about her new magic that would use fried beans. A Tanmaku that would use beans. The Oni couldn't stand, couldn't stand it. She was looking forward to meeting the Oni again. Things like Oni would, which yield, which wield incredible power, often have strange weaknesses. Maybe if a small weakness is exploited, the real larger weakness is hidden. That's why they were so strong. It was unthinkable. This master of this house also had a strange weakness. That's also why she was strong. And number eight, Patchy Good ending. Congratulations. And with that, that'll be it for today. Hope you all enjoy. We'll play it again at some point in time. But until then, take care everyone. Have a great day.